hello welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Nikita and on this channel I do some faith and lifestyle content and the way I have been struggling to record this video this specific video it's been real and that is how I know this is a video that I definitely have to put out because the enemy is just he's just trying he's trying me he's trying to do the things for me to not put out this video <laughs> I recently turned 32 and I thought it would be a great opportunity for me to just share some of the very valuable lessons that I've learned over the last few years. I didn't naturally learn these lessons over 32 years. I have to say it's probably the last few years, five years of my life that I've really grown and matured the most in motherhood, in marriage, in my walk with God. I have to say I am proud of the woman that I am becoming. She is someone that is steadfast in her faith. She is someone that is not easily moved by the things that the enemy throws at her. She is someone that values those that are in her life very, very much, but also know that nothing is constant. Nothing is forever. Nothing lasts forever. And so when I do lose people, it is also okay with me. I hope it places someone and that you might take away some of the things that I've learned and just incorporate them into your own life and that it be a blessing to you as well. First and foremost, I have learned that I'm nothing without the Lord. He is my salvation, He is my strength, He is my life and I cannot imagine you know what I would be and what I would be doing if I did not have the Lord if I was not his and if I didn't constantly go back to him and repent every single day and repent for my sins and just give my life to him over and over again because I am not perfect and I don't claim to be I fall every single day I fail every single day but I try to you know live my life according to him and his will as far as possible and so I have to proclaim it wherever I go that I'm nothing without him and I've learned that I can't do anything without him. He sustains me. He is the one that takes me through the deeper seas and the highest mountains and gets me across every single time more than a conqueror. I have to obviously start by saying that the most important lesson I've learned, the most important, is that I'm nothing without the Lord and I never want to be without him. Next, I learned that not everybody has the same heart as I do, but that shouldn't stop me from still doing good to others. It's very often in our nature as people that when someone does something wrong to you, when someone shows you their heart is not as pure as yours or not as genuine as yours, that you want to, you know, retaliate and give back to them what they have given to you, what they have done to you. And I have failed in this area very many times where when somebody does me wrong, especially when my heart has been so pure and when my intentions have been so pure towards this person and I get slapped back in the face or I get just not the best reaction from that person that I naturally want to give, want to give back the hurt and the rejection or the pain that they have now given to me. That is not what the Bible teaches us to do. It says that if somebody slaps you on the one cheek, you have to give the other one. And it's all about being humble and about humility and just not thinking that you're better than others, but also to realize that not everybody is formed and shaped the way that you are. And so naturally they are not gonna have the same heart. They're not gonna have the same response to things that you do. And that's also okay, we can't win them all. So with that being said, the next thing I've learned is that nothing in life is constant. We are ever changing. Every single day we change. I am not the same person that I was 10 years ago. And so to expect me to speak the same way I did, to act the same way I did when I didn't have kids, when I didn't have a husband, when I was reckless and fornicating and getting drunk every single weekend, that is not who I was and I have changed and so people come up to me sometimes and say like "Ooh, you're so holy now you're so uh like stiff and prim and proper now like what has happened to you but 
there's beauty in change and i love the person that i've become I, I love the woman i have evolved into and so naturally i accept when things aren't constant when things are constantly changing even the bible says that there's a season for everything in life and I, for one, am embracing the change. <laughs> I accept the change and I welcome it. I am not someone that stagnates and I very easily get irritated by people that stagnate and that refuses to move forward in life and expects me to stay there with them. Let me be, let me go, let me change, let me be like whoever God intended for me to be. Let me not sit with you. If you are fine there, then fine, be there, but don't expect me to do the same. Next up, I learned that people will come in and out of your life and it is okay to let them go, even if it's family. God sends people into our lives for seasons and for a specific reason. And, and they may not be sent to be in your life forever and that's fine, there's nothing wrong with that. It is just very important that you don't cling to people that is meant for you to let go. That can really hurt you, it can disappoint you, it can make you feel like you are not good enough, that you are less than, when in actual fact, that person's time was over in your life and you pushing to keep them there is only hurting you more, it's not helping your situation. Even if it's family, and I keep saying this, I do not care if you are my family or not, if you are not helping me grow, if you are hurting me constantly and if you are not seeing your part in, 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 in the equation in all of it, then I don't see how we're ever going to move forward because I'm not someone that's going to enable you and make you think that you are right. I am going to be honest. I'm going to let you know what I feel and how, you, how your actions are affecting me. And so it is important to know that some people come into your life for a little bit. They might have been sent to you for you to learn something they might have been sent to just you know sit with you for a little bit and 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 keep you company for a little bit but they weren't meant to be your people forever and that's okay let them go let them go the lord will send in your tribe your people your um family that are friends turned into family he will send the people that you need in your life at the right time and so it's okay to let go of those that are not for you. So next up, I have learned to stay present, to slow down, to not be hasty over everything, to not be looking and searching for the next best thing to do, but to stay present in the moments, in the real life moments and to invest in my family and time with them. It is important for me to just take in every single small moment that I have with them because I know that my kids grow up. They grow up very fast. I know that my husband's growing older. I know that, you know, things are not going to always be the way that they are now. So it's important for me to remember that I am not late to anything. We are not late. You are not late to anything. You are right where God wants you to be. And it is important for you to use this time that you have with your loved ones to the best of your ability to make those core memories to you know bake the cake with your little ones to get dirty with them to go for the walks with them do the things that your kids will remember you by if you are not here one day i'm saying kids but anybody that values you be present stay present and i keep telling myself that it's important to me to stay present we are not promised tomorrow and I don't want us waking up one day or I don't want to wake up one day and realize that my time is up, that it's over, that they are gone and I don't have time to make up for it um, and I've wasted it all by scrolling on my phone or cleaning constantly and worrying about a house that I'm going to leave behind anyway one day. So for me it's important to stay present and to make sure that I spend time with those that I love the most. The next lesson I've learned is that beauty is vain. It cannot last forever. It won't last forever. <laughs> In Proverbs 31, 30, it says that charm and grace are deceptive and beauty is vain, but a woman who reverently and worshipfully fears the Lord, 
shall be praised. And but also in another version says that favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain. But a woman that fears the Lord, she shall be praised. And I know. <clears throat> Um, it's easy to judge people by the way that they look. It's easy to be impressed by someone by the fancy clothes that they've got on or the the beautiful hairstyle that they have or the gorgeous makeup that they are wearing. And I'm not saying those things aren't beautiful to me as well. I also, you know, can very much appreciate beauty. But I am much more concerned with what is inside of a person than what is outside. I shared this um uh real where the person said that i very that she very seldomly remembers how someone looked but she never forgets how they made them how they made her feel and that stuck with me and that is exactly how i you know love life i am more concerned with what is inside someone than what they are wearing i could care less how you look um i also said to a colleague of mine that you know we are I know women, especially women, are so scared to grow old. They don't want to grow old because they are scared of the way they're going to look with wrinkles and fine lines and all of these things. Women don't want to bear kids because they're scared of the way they, their bodies are going to turn out, their boobs that are going to sag and their tummies that are going to hang over their pants. The body is beautiful whether it is big or small and I could care less what I look like. I am more concerned with how I make people feel, with what is inside, the beauty that I carry within me. That is what is important to me, not what I look like or what I had on. Yes, I am a girl, I am a woman, we like nice things, we like beautiful things, but at the end of the day, you could be wearing the most beautiful dress but have the ugliest heart. I am more concerned with how somebody makes me feel and that is a lesson that I've learned. It is okay to grow old, it is okay. For my beauty to you know disappear i'm not gonna be young forever i'm already in my 30s so i love the fact that i'm growing older and wiser and gaining more experience over time and i don't care for how i end up looking my mom is a very beautiful woman so i know the genes <laughs> <laughs> I'm not worried. Just know that I'm not worried with how I look. I am more concerned for what's going on inside my heart and what it is that I pour out when I do open my mouth. I've also learned that it is important for me not to look at other people's lives to decide what my life should look like. It's so easy to go on to social media and fall into that trap of comparison when you see someone else's highlight reel. Um, of just the moment that they have shared with us. But we don't know the full story and we don't know the reality of what people are really going through. And so for me, I have just really stopped looking at other people's lives. I care to do things my way. I care to find out my own, you know, interests and things that I like and things that fill me up and bring me joy. I don't care for what other people are doing and so I just really hope that there's a young woman out there looking at my life as just that, just another girl loving life. And I don't want to ever make you feel like you need to buy everything I'm buying, do everything I'm doing, say everything I'm saying, believe everything I'm believing. It is up to you to decide what your life looks like. and. That is how I have been living my life. I have been learning constantly over and over that it is wrong for me to compare myself to other people. And it brings me absolutely no joy. It does not help me in any way. I cannot be like the next person because I am not that person. I don't think like that person thinks. I don't like what that person likes. I don't dress the way they do. I don't find the things that they find beautiful I don't and so it's important for me to always be authentic to myself and to decide for myself how my life looks and not to look into somebody else and think oh that is so perfect because nothing in life is perfect. Next up I want to let you know that you don't have to prove yourself to anyone. This is not a race. This is real life. This is you figuring things out for yourself, doing things that make your soul happy, your heart happy, 
your family happy that is going to impact your future so it is up to you and me to not always feel the need to prove ourselves to not always want to do the next best thing so that other people can be comfortable you know it is so easy for us to people please and to do things just so that we can make somebody else feel comfortable we are doing so many things out here that is totally out of our character just so that we can prove ourselves to others we do not need to prove ourselves to anybody we just need to be living for god for christ every single day and just doing what he is expecting of us to do and to hell with the rest to hell with the rest okay so that's gonna be it for this week's video guys i hope that there's some lessons that you can take with you um if there has been something that impacted you please let me know i'd really appreciate your comment until next time thank you so much for watching bye